a fashionable stranger just rode into town, and he's looking to trade in his horse for some horsepower. He needs a ride to match his duds. Have you ever ridden a horse, Peter? I have not ever ridden a horse. Okay, I do prefer cars to horses, so shoot me. Now, let me explain why I'm dressed like this. Remember those rhinestone cowboy suits from the 60s and 70s? Turns out the guy who created all those clothes made cars, too. His name was Nudie. Yeah, Nudie. He was born Nuta Korlienko in Kiev, where, as far as I know, they don't have cowboys. But after moving to the U.S. as a kid, he became Nudie Cohn, outfitter to America's sparkling, rhinestone-covered country music megastars. He outfitted the likes of Elvis Presley, Porter Wagner, and, of course, Glenn Campbell. Like a but Nudie's love of blindness-inducing sparkles couldn't be contained in a mere outfit. Behold, the Nudie Mobile. This 1975 Cadillac Eldorado has more guns than Charlton Heston facing a zombie apocalypse. When you get in this car, you're literally sitting in money. And in the small herd of cows who died for this car, there's a saddle in the back seat for Christ's sakes. Today, this car is in the care of Nudie's granddaughter, Jamie Nudie. I'm just gonna guess that your grandfather probably was not the shy retiring type of guy. Oh no, by no means. He wanted to stand out. And when he wore his nudie suit, he wanted to also stand out in his car. This car has star power. It's like a rolling movie set and I got to be Roy Rogers for a little while.